Welcome back to the show and welcome back to the podcast. Today's a little rare form, so I'm. it, it does look like these are PJs, but they are cr our crushed velvet from the Lululemon. I have a glass of wine poured. It is after, it is almost 10 p.m. And I wanted to do this episode because I had this idea all day and then things started to like kind of change around a bit and I thought in my head like maybe I don't want to do this specific episode but I had some conversations with a couple different people today and if you're not a part of the newsletter please 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 join that newsletter because I just put this out there today I gave out a our free power yoga class so an idea of like what that power yoga is like I know that of course if you're following me on Instagram you've known that I'm doing a couple more of these like virtual restorative stretch meditation yoga classes those are happening on Sundays at 1130 Eastern Standard Time super easy to sign up for those they cost $15 they're a, like a wonderful little nugget um, that is through a girlfriend of mine at Free Heart Fitness. That is their Instagram handle, and it's called Free Heart Fitness. Go figure. Started by Jenny Oline. If you haven't watched her episode, I work out. I think it was called like I work out to drink more wine. I think that's like her favorite quote, and I was like, this is perfect. I love it. So I have the wine glass here because we did this power yoga class today. I recorded it with my clients, and they said, of course, like put it up. So that is the free class that you're gonna get on YouTube, but you're only gonna get that link if you sign up for my newsletter, because that's where all the links are. So make sure you do that, it is super easy to do that. It's either in the link below if you're watching on YouTube, or if you go to my Instagram, it's in my Linktree account, which is the click on in my bio. Like if you go in the bio, a lot of people have Linktree because they have more than one website that they wanna send you to. So that is where you should head over to so big thing today we are talking about confidence and it was like resonating in my mind i was like thinking about in i don't know if anyone's watched the sound of music but like god i love julie andrews because she just sounds so posh and she's just so beautiful and if you didn't watch bridget in she's the narrator of lady whistledown and she's just absolutely fabulous and super posh and you know we've also seen like princess diaries and how she's just wonderful in that so a very different character she plays in the sound of music super confident and she has a song about I have confidence and I had kind of geared my yoga class around this and I was thinking about it I was like gosh that's like one of my favorite things and it took me so long to get there and I still struggle with it we all struggle with confidence here and there but I think it's really interesting thinking about myself in in my teens especially I mean all of us were there in our teens and if you were super confident as a teen like uh, a fucking man you're incredible I need to know who you are so please reach out to me in a DM but um, I was thinking in my 20s like how I had regained confidence and one of the things that I really wanted to talk about Please let me know if this is something that you want to hear about. Either shoot me a DM or send me a private message or comment on my most recent Instagram post. I really want to talk about body image. Um, it's a really, really tough subject. I want to talk about that because I think it's something that I went through in so many different realms from an eating disorder to like weight gain. Um, you know, everyone has their own path and their own journey. And like where I kind of found my happy medium. So I really, really want to talk about body image because I think if we don't love ourselves first, then we can't really be present for others. We can't share with others. And taking the time to celebrate ourselves is what helps us find like our accomplishment and the things that we love about ourselves. And it cultivates this like beautiful inner peace in our hearts. And within that inner peace is self love. Right, so again, this is called the luxury of self-care. It should be called the luxury of self-love too because it's these two things go hand in hand. You are taking care of yourself, you need to love yourself, you love yourself, you're taking care of yourself, right? So with this inner peace, I want to find this beautiful thing of self-acceptance and that comes with that confidence building and reminding ourselves that when we love ourselves more fully, we can not only fill ourselves up with, with more joy and more love, but we're like a glass 
full, right? So filling our cup up or our bucket, I don't know if anyone's read this, I know I've talked about it before, but How Full Is Your Bucket? This book is gold. Um, look for it, it's incredible. Uh, Tom Rath and Donald O. Clifton wrote the book. Um, the one has passed away and then the other one was his muse basically and wrote everything. It's a New York Best Time seller, Wall Street um, Journal but national bestseller. It is just so good. You're gonna have like so much positivity. They've been doing exercises with kids because I was talking to my stepsister about it and they're doing exercises with kids too where they're having them create their own bucket and you like create your own water drops and you give water drops to others. But the whole concept that I'm trying to speak of right now is you're filling your own glass with all this self love and this self confidence and this beautiful inner peace work that your cup is going to overflow just like those beautiful champagne towers that I want to have at my wedding. And it's going to overflow down onto all these other people because you're filling your own bucket first. So it's this theory. I mean, that's not necessarily what I'm doing, but the, how full is your bucket is a similar theory in the sense of like, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, and then let it go. Just like the five love languages. If you haven't read that book, it's like if your love tank is empty because you're giving, 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 giving to your partner their love language, but they're not putting back your love language into your bucket, it's not gonna work out. It's gonna end in arguments. Um, another great thing to look up, that's a good, good one, one, two, looking up the five love languages. So. Pardon me for a sip. Um, celebrating ourselves gets us in touch with uh, that inner confidence that I'm speaking about. And when we reflect on the things that we appreciate and love about ourselves, that's when we radiate this beautiful confidence. That's when we draw other people in and they're like, oh, what does she have? What is, what is that thing that she's carrying? And at the bottom line, it's confidence. It really, really is. Um, there is a fake confidence. You can put on a facade, you can put on a mask. I was very familiar with that. I've talked about that in the past. Or you can just like really go for it. Um, and it's gonna draw other people up. It's gonna uplift other people. It's just gonna exude this beautiful confidence in yourself so you can take on all the challenges that and the obstacles of life because there are a lot and you need to love yourself first before you handle any of those. So. What I want us to do today, if you're watching me on, on the YouTube, or if you're checking this out on Instagram, I want us to close our eyes. If you are driving your car, please don't close your eyes. <laughs> if you're walking, um, which is where I prefer to do my podcast more than anything, please don't close your eyes. But you have, if you have a brief second to sit down, if you could just close your eyes for one minute. Okay. So I want us to take a moment to recall five to eight things that we that you love about yourself, okay? And these could be from achievements, they could be um, past accomplishments, physical accomplishments, um, interpersonal traits that you love about yourself or anything. And as you bring those to mind, I just want you to feel the love and appreciation in your heart for yourself um, and let that radiate out into the world, okay? So just kind of hold on that, take a couple deep breaths in and just think about what are five to eight things that I love about myself? Just give it one more thought, take one more breath in and exhale it out and flutter your eyes back open. Um, I challenge you if you weren't able to really think that fast, which that would be a speed thinker, um, to go ahead and grab a pen and paper, write that down, and then maybe just think about it tonight before you go to bed or take a five today at work and just, just write those things down. Um, for me, I decided since I was asking my students to do this and I was going to do it on the podcast, I wanted to make sure that I had those things prepared. So I wanted to share them with you today. And then I'm going to close us out with a few quotes that I absolutely love about confidence. So that's where we're headed. I first wanted to start with the things that came to my mind the quickest. Like those are the things that I want you to hang on to because if you give this a lot of thought, you're gonna be like me, you're gonna overthink it, you're gonna overplan it, and you're gonna perfect it. I don't, I don't want that. What I want is like for you to take a moment and just see the first few things that come into my mind. 
So the first thing that came to my mind was my ability to be a cheerleader. And I'm not saying like pom-poms and at a football game on a Friday night in high school. I'm saying my ability to be a cheerleader for my clients, for my listeners, for my followers on Instagram, for anyone in my life, my friendships, in my relationship, in my family dynamics. I constantly love watching people succeed, whether I know them well or don't know them well. I'm so emotional when it comes to that and I love cheering people on and just watching them excel. Um, I think it also comes along with this healing mentality. I think that's why I've really found this strength in being a yoga instructor. It's just something that I really love, whether I'm doing a power class and people were like, oh my gosh, I didn't think I could get through it. And like what you said made me feel like I could, like thank you for saying that. Or if it was someone that was just like, I just really needed that reset, that restorative class just took me away for an hour and like made my troubles all drift away. Like I like watching people succeed in things that they didn't think they could accomplish. Um, I love working with people about food and talking to them about how food's delicious. You can't eat chicken and broccoli every day. There's so much more than that. So just kind of like going through all these different variations of like just being people's cheerleader and watching them succeed. When I am working with my educators um, at work as well and like leading them and showing them how to succeed, it's been just such a blessing to see them create this confidence, come to me and say, hey, I really just noticed in this moment that this happened. I think I did this wrong. This is how I want to approach it next time. And I'm like, that's great. Anything else? You know, like, what did you learn? And I'm so glad that that's the rapport that we have now, as opposed to me just telling them what they did wrong and how they can fix it, right? Like allowing people to find that inner confidence and watching them succeed and cheering them through that. It just really is something that I love about myself and it's kind of weird for me to share with you the things that I love about myself, but I wanted to give you some examples so that way we could, you know, create this list for yourself and you can have this inner monologue and a conversation with yourself, giving yourself that wonderful thank you for loving yourself for a specific thing. Um, second on my list is my skin. So you all know that I work for Beauty Counter. I freaking love their products. I love being a part of a B corporation. I just love that I don't have to use so many things. It's just a specific amount of things that are really freaking good. And I'm so grateful for my jeans. I have fabulous jeans. I love when I get mistaken for being like 18 or 22, which you guys maybe are like, mm, girlfriend, no. But I do get mistaken for like eight to 10 years younger than I am so many times until I open my mouth and people can usually tell that I'm not that young. So that's really nice. I definitely love using good clean products because that's like really nice for my skin. It just makes me feel, makes me feel good. Like I am very confident because I know that I am nice skin. Now we're covering ourselves with our masks. So if you want to know a couple of regimens that I do as far as making sure that my skin stays really nice and healthy. Again, shoot me a DM, check in with me, and I would be happy to tell you all the stuff that I'm doing. Make sure if you do have a non-disposable mask to wash it all the time and check out my one post about mask spray. So you can have the sprays in between the day, but every night wash your mask. You don't have to throw it in the laundry, just like get soap and water and wash it and let it dry. Another one. My third one is the podcast. Like I'm so glad that in the middle of a pandemic, I had this creative idea to create this. I've met so many wonderful people through Instagram looking for guests. I'm so like proud of myself that I figured out how to edit these things. I figured out how to upload stuff. I figured out a strict schedule. I stuck to that schedule as far as like when I was posting things. Um, the feedback I've gotten, the joy it's brought in me, like this podcast is really truly becoming part of my self-care routine. So not only am I proud of myself for creating it, but I'm just proud of the community that it's become. So thank you to you because that is a true testament to the listeners and the watchers and the followers. Uh, number four is holding, holding inclusion as one of my core values one of my main pillars and I talk about this a couple times I've said it I, I 
hated in high school when people would talk about something and you would lean over and say like, oh, what are you talking about? And they're like, don't worry about it. I always felt like the immediate thought is confidence lost. They are talking about me. And that wasn't always the case, I think it was, but like, I don't like feeling excluded. I hate when I'm in a conversation, someone new comes in and no one really introduces that new person. Um, the minute that I'll walk in, like someone will come up, I'll be like, oh, we were just discussing blah, 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 because I want everyone to feel included, like they can add and contribute to the conversation, especially like in a circle on a playground or when you're in a group where it's like a circle of people, if there's someone trying to creep up in and someone doesn't open the circle and like open their shoulder up so that person can feel included, like those are such big things. That's a big core value for me. I want everyone to feel like they have a purpose, they are seen, they are heard, and they are welcome. Fifth on my list, it's my resume. I'm actually really proud of all the stuff I was able to accomplish as a performer. I always wanted to do a national tour. I always wanted to sing and dance on cruise ships. I always wanted to play a principal at a, an amazing house some of the stages that I performed on, like the people then that I worked with, like I am so proud and about that resume. It makes me feel so empowered. I know that I really wanted to get my equity card and be a part of the Actors' Equity Union. It's crazy, like this pandemic, I was just talking to one of my buddies the other day, my man of honor, David Michael Bevis, who's also been on the show. I just was chatting with him and I was like, it's so crazy to me because you know, I thought that I was done with theater, but like who the hell knows anymore these days? Like I'm back and there's an amazing equity house literally a block away from me. And I just think that like the possibilities are endless. So maybe it isn't time to hang the hat, but if it is like, I'm really happy with the stuff that I got to do. Like it was, it was a time. It was a really wonderful time. And dancing with my best friend, who's also David, I got to dance with him in three different shows. Like that just doesn't happen. So, you know, there's some really amazing things with that. Like going into the next thing, snowballing into the next would be my creativity. Like even in the kitchen, I've noticed during pandemic or whatever, I was like, okay, what do we have left? Um, what did my dad maybe bring to me this week? Like what can I concoct up super quickly and make a delicious bomb meal? like that's just everywhere I'm like oh like let me be creative and like put this stuff together and it's constant it's just like this constant thing of how how can I be creative in this moment whether it's like formulating what I'm going to do for the podcast whether it's creating like a reel for Instagram or, or doing the stuff in the kitchen like creativity is just a big thing for me I always love being creative in some way shape or form whether it's performance or creating a song or an idea. It's just, I, I'm, I'm happy about that. My last two, so I did do eight to give you like a lot of different examples. Number seven is my work ethic. So I, yes, have a, it's full time, but I have a full time job. It's only like 27, 28 hours a week, but that is not my only job. I have like six other jobs and I have always been like that. Like, it's never enough. I'm like, it's never enough. Like it's never enough. And I'm always trying to like take more and I want, I want to do more and I always want to do more and I want to take stuff on and I, I want to be a healer and be, do my yoga classes. And I want to do this podcast and I want to do, um, like I want to promote products that I love. I want to sell products that I love. I want to be around for the building and all the stuff that I have to do in this building with, with all the different tenants and different things that come up. I am planning my wedding. Like it's just, I'm always working, 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 working. And I've always been proud of the fact that I am tired a lot, but I'm also always like excited about all the things that I'm doing. So having that really strong work ethic for me is something that I'm super proud of. And lastly is just kind of giving us a full 360, but it's just my own confidence. And like I said, I wanted to talk about that body image stuff because I have, I have a lot of confidence. Like, yes, I love my skin, but like, I love my butt. I love my legs. I love my body now. Um, I'm just a happy person. I'm confident in who I am. I'm confident when I walk down the street. I'm confident when I wear a cute outfit. I'm confident in conversations. And if I don't know, I'm confident enough to say, oh, like, tell me what that is and to learn something in that situation. 
it took me a long time to build that confidence in myself and I really hold that as a core value now. It's super true to my heart that I know who I am because I think I really knew who I was when I was younger and then you go through your teens and you like lose it all and then you go through you know your 20s and like that confidence, that self love was able for me to open my doors and open my heart to finding Douglas and like having him be my person and my partner and my fiance and like I just I think that I would have never been able to attain this relationship because I wouldn't have been open to it because I wasn't confident in my own person like confident even in my talent like took, takes a long time it's like you get so critical on yourself because you compare yourself to like the best and you have to realize that like you can still be confident in what you have to offer. So remembering that you're always striving for new goals, you're constantly working to become a better person. That's the biggest and best thing about that. But having the confidence in where I'm at, having the confidence in who I am today, having the confidence in how I look today, that's the confidence I'm talking about. So I really hope you do that inner work. Please share with me in the comments below on this post or on my most recent post on Instagram, like what those were for you or if this spoke to you at all or if you wanted something more like this and you're waiting for an episode like this and you're like, yes, finally. But confidence is definitely like one of those big things that I just think is so important. We assume that everyone has it, but we don't talk about it enough. So I'm going to close out with three really great quotes if you didn't watch my power yoga class yet on instagram these quotes are on there as well so it, i just take a moment here maybe you want to close your eyes again if you haven't done so already but i'm going to start one with the infamous lucille ball i love her i would i feel like if i was born in her era like that is the actor i would say like i want to be lucille ball because i just i love making people laugh she's still freaking gorgeous She's just so funny. Like I'm literally thinking of all these episodes of I Love Lucy. So she said, love yourself first and everything falls into line. You really have to love yourself to get anything done in this world. And like truly, right? Like love yourself first because like that, like I said, I love myself. I had confidence in myself and that's where all the other stuff comes into play. You're going to have confidence in your job. You're going to have confidence in your spouse, your partner. You're going to have confidence in everything you do when you show up on your mat, when you show up to a workout, when you show up to your desk, when you show up as a mom or a dad, like whatever it is. Because you have that love for yourself first, all of it will fall into play. It really will. Um, Oscar Wilde, who also says, like, he, I think, what is the quote exactly? It's, love yourself because everyone else is already taken or something like that. That quote's awesome. But another one about confidence is to love oneself is the beginning of a lifelong romance. Right? Like, Yes, <laughs> you have to love yourself. You can't expect your partner just to love you, love you, love you and give, 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 give to you if you don't love yourself first, right? So we need to make sure that we love ourselves. We love everything about ourselves. We love what we do. We can create goals for ourselves, know those things that we want to strive for, but have the things that we can hold on to that we love. So then that way, our partner only compliments us. Yeah, because we already love ourselves. So make sure you love yourself. That's a big one um, because it is a beautiful lifelong romance. And finally, our beautiful Oprah Winfrey says my favorite one of all, which is the more you celebrate yourself, the more there is in life to celebrate. Mm-hmm. Let that one sit. <laughs> the more you celebrate yourself, the more there is in life to celebrate. Uh, fuck yeah. <laughs> so enjoy that one. Whichever quote was your favorite, please let me know. If you like these quotes, if you like these uh, ways of these solo episodes, let me know. Again, that newsletter comes out every Thursday or right after lunchtime. That is going to give you the free yoga class. You have all the updates of the episode that, that was launched on Monday. 
you have the video footage and the link to the episode today. You hear about a blurb of like a product that I'm, I'm talking about that I'm absolutely loving right now. And make yourself that list, share that list with yourself. Take a screenshot of that list, remind yourself of all the beautiful things that you are and you are uniquely you. No one else has the same building blocks as you, so just enjoy that. I'm so proud of you. Have an amazing weekend and great rest of your week. I have some fun guests coming up, so be sure to keep a lookout for those. And I'll see you next time.